Peace Hounds. Peace Hounds, episode 59. Um, after, we're back after a little bit of a freshen up and we're ready to tip a storm. Uh, we've got a 12 race card at Cannington tonight, including the Group 3 Paradise final over the 600. So let's get into things. Race one, I've gone with box one, our dream girl. Looks to be the best dog in this field and drawn the red. Um, just looks to be the winner here. Looks ultra hard to beat. Flashing Kuna will probably be running on late, but just gets too far back in the field for me. Race two, I've gone with box four, Hinto. Um, looks to return to form last week and um, should prove too classy and um, really shine. His ability should shine through here. Um, I just think he proves way too good for a field of this kind. Race three is a 7.15 metre race. Um, look, box five, Tessa Bell. Um, he looks the one to beat. He just does a lot of things wrong in his races. Um, just find ways to lose. So I'm going with Barefoot Tycoon. Um, he's probably the next best dog in the field. And um, he's drawn well here. He should have the class edge in this distance. Um, and if Tezza Bell is up to his normal tricks, well, um, he should get a little bit of luck and win this race. Moving on to race four, the Group 3 Paradise of the 600. Um, you can pick this race out of a hat. It's really even. It can go any which way. Um, so I'm going with box four, Amplified. Um, a front runner who should be pouncing on the arm early and went out in front. Um, should be hard to reel in. Um, look, I think there'll be a bit of trouble back in the pack. So breaking clear will be the key. Um, she runs it out decently and will be better for the run from last week. Um, I think she just jumps and leads and wins this race. So race four, box four, amplified in the final. Race five, I'm going with box one, unsee this. He's drawn the red here. Um, he's unbeaten to date off the draw and um, shows okay early pace, but should be utilising the draw to his um, capabilities. Um, he should be running well here. He was good last start at Mandra to run 2720s. Um, and if he's running anything like that, he'll prove hard to beat off the red. Moving on to race six, we're going with box six. Um, we should get the card across with the four. Um, it shows good early pace. The six also has good early pace, so hopefully we can sit behind it um, and run it down. Christine Robartson trains the dog as well, and she's absolutely flying at the moment. Her whole entire kennel is just flying. Anytime you see her in a race, just it's always worth a little bit of a dabble. So I've gone with race six, box six, um, and Christine Robartson looks to be in for another good night. Race seven, I've gone with Granite Song. Look, he's drawn box five. Archibald should cart him into the race. Uh, box six is vacant, so he's going to get all the clear running. If he can just sit on the heels of Archibald, he should prove too strong late and be running Archibald down. Moving on to race eight, I've gone with box one, Soul's Glory. Been in some great form recently, gets the draw here. Should sit back early, but unleash mid-race and run over the leaders late in this race. So I've gone with race eight, box one, Soul's Glory. Race 9, I've gone with Box 7, Global Bliss. Has unmatched early pace and should be leading this race. Um, it's where you want to be in a short course race. And if you're out in front, you're giving yourself every chance. So I think he'll give himself every chance. Um, should be up in front early and could be giving him, should be near the front. So he'll be hard to reel in if he can get on that arm early. Moving on to race 10, I've gone with box one, Clifton Cruz. Looks hard to beat in this small field. It was good in a qualifying trial when he ran 5.58, which should be good enough to lead this. Um, and when he's out in front, I don't think there's anything in this race that will be strong enough to run him down. Um, he ran home in 11.50 in his uh, qualifying trial, which is going fair. Um, but should prove good enough in this race. Moving on to race 11, box four, Global Gossip. Uh, he just wins this race for me. He's the new kid on the block. He ran 21.60s at Shepparton, moved to WA and hasn't put a foot wrong. Um, but this is definitely his biggest task to date. Um, but I think he should be proving good enough. So he's drawn box four. You don't, Ideally, you want to be in boxes one or two. Uh, but I think he can offset the draw and um, should be proving too good in this race. Moving on to race 12, box one, Rapido Scrud. Uh, was very good last start from box seven. Draws a red here, and if he's running anything to his last start, 
Um, he should be proving really, really hard to beat. Um, he was one of my best bets of the night. That's it. Episode 59, the Group 3 Paradise over the 600 metres at Cannington tonight. Uh, best of luck on the punt.